What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, specifically, what we need to look at in today's video is continued consolidation among most of the major cryptos. But what we are starting to see is a potential bounce, a support level that has been retested within the S&P 500, which could and hopefully will reveal some sort of reversal back to the upside here. That's pretty much what we've been waiting on patiently for, geez, I don't even know how long. It's been a very long time of patiently waiting and waiting and waiting for a bottom to be drawn and for us to use that bottom to head up to the upside here. And it's been many days of consolidating downwards, filling out, you know, solidifying some, you know, technical indicators that will hopefully allow us, uh, you know, a bullish run to the upside here. It's definitely allowed us to draw these and find them. It's now just the waiting game for when they're going to break. You can see beautifully drawn out here on XRP, the beautiful bull flag formation that we're forming here, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, there is indeed a flag pole right here. And then we have the flag to the downside here. It is clear as day. So whatever you want to call it, it does not matter because you can see it clear as day here. You can see the lower high, lower low pattern. And what that means is every time we head to the upside, it is lower than the last time we headed to the upside and vice versa. Every time we fall, it's lower than the last time we fall. This is a typically a bullish outlook here, not just on XRP, but a lot of these cryptos. So that's patiently what we're waiting for. And hopefully with the S&P hitting a low here, we should hopefully reverse up from there uh there on out but with all of that being said definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe and let's jump into today's episode so guys as you can see yesterday's video i basically was showing you guys what i found that there's another opportunity here some sort of descending fractal forming and i believe it was ethereum yep ethereum's uh daily technical pattern here and you can see on the price chart here that this would ideally lead potentially to another bullish run to the upside. That's truly what we're, we're leaning towards every day now. It's just been a very long consolidative market here where every day moving forward, XRP is we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting for a lot of these cryptocurrencies to finally go through, follow through with the indicators that it's drawing. Now, as you guys can see, the current coin market cap, a quick refresh reveals that we are, where are we? At uh, 1.06 trillion down about a, per, a half a percent here. You can see for the most part, nothing is really going on at all with all these cryptos here. And you can see kind of the consolidative efforts here where even with these big spirals and spikes, nothing has really, you know, followed through with it, which in my mind means uh, very soon we should be getting that volume injection here. We've been flatlined out at 39 on the fear and greed index for I don't even know how long here, but we're just patiently waiting for that opportunity to reveal itself. Now, before I dive into the specifics on the technical indicators, just take a look at things here. Every chart at this point in time has some sort of indicator we can use that is honestly biased towards a bullish run here. So we have the four hour bull flag formation on uh, XRP here. If you just Google bull flag formation, you could see that is exactly what this looks like. Flag pull. We have the retracement and then the breakout right here. This is what a bull flag looks like. It is clear as day exactly what XRP is forming right now. So it's very easy. It's very simple. It's it's a very, you know, uh, similar technical indicator that we've been using that's been showing up on the charts day in and day out constantly for the past couple of years here for who knows how long that we've been tracking. So it's been a useful tool to gauge a bullish run. So this is, st uh, you know, a textbook biased for a bullish run. It's, it's statistically more bullish. Now, we then move on to Ethereum here. And with the low point here, we've now, you know, scaled ourselves down quite a decent amount. If I take the price range here, you can see we've dropped almost 25% here. And with that, after this correction all the way down to here, we've had this kind of descending fractal. We've definitely found some sort of support at 1584. You can see us trading at about 50 on the RSI. We want a break up to moving average. It is also a statistically proven thing, or maybe let's maybe I won't call it that. Uh, in my knowledge, in my expertise from being in the market for seven years, we always move back up to moving average. It's a constant battle of moving up to moving average. You can see here, every time we fall, we come back to moving average. We're always moving back at some point to the moving average at some point or another. So with that knowledge in mind, the fact that we've been so undervalued for quite some time now, literally since, you know, 
August, we've had August, September now going into October here, which is a bullish month. We need to come back up to reverse back up to moving average. Uh, same thing goes with Bitcoin here. Bitcoin's in a statistically bullish candle right here that usually seen signs of a break to the upside here. We're also undervalued and below moving average. Another signal for a potential run to the upside here. Same thing with the S&P. S&P has bottomed off. You can already see we're starting to reverse out of it here. Not only are we oversold 30 on the RSI, but you can also see that we're floating at this bottom level here. You can see the major reversal right up to here. That major candle wick is a sign of a reverse. A re I can't speak. A reversal doji. You can see what a reversal doji candle looks like. I want to show you what that is. Let's pull it up right here. You can see what these reversal doji candles look like. They're massive wicks. They have these big wicks here. Doji star appearing at the bottom of a downtrend, signaling possible reversal. Oversold with the doji candle here. And you can see on the S&P 500, we are yet again oversold reversal star doji candle here. I mean, it goes hand in hand. How much more obvious can we be here? This is a doji star appearing at the bottom of a downtrend, signaling possible reversal. They never guarantee it. See what they do there? They never guarantee it. This is a, do a reversal doji star. Here's oversold. Well, look at the S&P. Reversal doji star and oversold. So it is also a beautiful signal for reversal. That's what we're looking for here is a beautiful signal for a reversal trend to the upside here. So that's what we're paying attention to. And, you know, it usually statistically the bias is it does see that break to the upside here. If that happens, I strongly believe a lot of these other cryptos like XRP, Ethereum and Bitcoin will move up too. Now, obviously, I do all of my trades on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange I like to use here on the channel. Hopefully, we start to see that S&P 500 start to scale up today. That would be lovely. If not, we're just going to have to patiently wait for it to take place here. But in the meantime, you guys can get prepared on BidFi and take advantage of their $2,888 completely free sign-up bonus with a link down in the description below. I highly recommend you take advantage of it. I highly recommend you sign up for it because it's completely free and you can earn almost three grand in just free bonuses here. They do have a demo account they're going to be adding. It's closed currently, so they can update it, but I will update and inform you guys when it does go back on the market here. But what's super cool is you can buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses. Everything you can possibly think of on XRP is offered or on, um, you know, an exchange that you might want is offered. And they even have XRP to leverage trade too. Why does that keep happening? Let's favorite that. There we go. Okay. You can see here we do have bid file or we do have XRP loaded up for perpetual trading here. You can see they have a take profit stop loss. They have leverage trading right here. The amount of leverage that you'd like to use, which is super cool. You can buy long, sell short, leverage trade, long, short, everything you possibly think of is offered on bid fight, which I highly recommend taking advantage of. Like I said, with that link down in the description below, lots of new things are coming to here. They have a beautiful spot trading account that I love to use so on and so forth here, but moving forward and focusing in on XRP. So what we're focusing on is a four hour, more moderate to aggressive trade we'll take advantage of on BidFi if and when we do decide to break this price ceiling here. Once we break this downtrend in yellow, if we can break through this, that's when we buy long and, and leverage to the upside here because it is a statistically a bullish uh, you know, bias right here. Then even a step further here, you can see one, two, three, fourth uh, bull flag formation here. This typically has a bullish bias. We're waiting for a reversal back up to moving average and then even higher. So on the daily, we look bullish. On the four hour, we look bullish. Every signal in the book is flashing possible runs to the upside here. So the second we can confirm breaking through this, that's when we can buy in long on the four hour charts here. It is definitely a moderate to aggressive trade because it's a four hour trade, but you know, we're patiently waiting for something. So if and when we break through that, that's when we can take advantage of the run. Same thing goes with XRP, I'm, or sorry, with Ethereum. I'm also a strong believer that Ethereum is also priming itself for that movement to the upside here. As you guys can see, we've been battling this descending fractal here, and almost certainly we are starting to break through it. If and when we do, I likely think this is going to be a swing back up to here. It is definitely also a moderate trade, even on the daily, because of how uncertain I am with this. We've had these wicks before, and there's a chance we could see these you know, even now where we wick up just kind of bull traps here. Yeah, I still believe we're going to move up to here. And I think we need to get back inside this level here where we can continue to scale up. But until then, Ethereum trading is kind of on the last of my to-do list here. The other cryptos are definitely a bit more, uh, 
I'd say conservative to to leverage trade here. Same thing with Bitcoin here. You could see the star stepping beautiful pattern. There's much more defined price ceiling here, clear as day. Obviously, we're going to hit some turbulence on moving average, but if we can get through that too, we'll see a run to the upside here. So get your stop losses ready. But you can see where the downtrend is. We managed to close above here. That's what we could buy long and leverage to the upside. So I'm excited to see kind of where uh, we see movement within within Bitcoin moving forward. And then I've already updated you guys on the S&P 500, but I'm also a strong believer you're going to see a bounce fairly soon. Probably today, back to the upside here. If this is a doji star and we're undervalued, we should see some reversals. But with that being said, smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow's video. Peace.